world is a broken, unhinged masterpiece. Let's go. Remember that first Pal World trailer? Because when we all saw that chipmunk pull out the gun, I feel like we just instinctively knew this would either be the best thing ever or one gloriously horrible dumpster fire of a game. Well, turns out it's both. This thing is plagued by glitches. Okay, do you guys want my honest, genuine thoughts on what I what what I thought like when I saw like Power World like for the first time? Like I think it was during like a like an Xbox conference when I first saw it. But Panky's YouTube recommendations are like the ones for people who just joined YouTube for the first time. That's because my YouTube account got banned. So this is a new YouTube account. This is a new YouTube account because my old one got banned. You guys kind of forget that my old one got banned, so this is the new one. But anyway, the first thing I thought of, like, when I saw Power World, like, when it was, like, announced, like, during the Xbox, like, like showcase or whatever, was... This game looks fucking awful. Like, I thought it looked like the most uninspired bullshit ever, where I was like, this is going to be awful. I was not hyped for this game at all. I was... I had zero fucking hype for this game at all. It was a... I felt nothing when I saw this game for the first time. It looked like fucking hot dog shit when I first saw it. How did your old one get banned? We can talk about that later. But yeah, I when I first when I first saw Power World, I it was it was not it was not good. The story doesn't. He's gonna rave right now. No 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 no. I like Power World. Okay, I should mention I like Power World. I'm just saying. First thoughts when I saw it initially when it was announced, it looked awful. Exist. It's full of bootleg Pokemon and every human character. Okay. 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 Wait. Hold on. Okay. Wait. No. 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 Okay. Wait. Okay. 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 I get that 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 Anubis looks like Lucario. Okay. But okay, let me show you what Anubis looks like. Let me show you what Anubis looks like. Let me show you what Anubis looks like, okay? This is what Anubis looks like, okay? That is a hot furry person. Can a person submit multiple videos if you want to? Sure. Filter explicit results. Hold on. <laughs> Anubis is... A I'm just saying, like, this is what Anubis looks like, to be fair. So it's like, I don't know, like, kind of like what else, like... I don't know, like, what else you want you you want there to be. Like, yeah, obviously, like, Lucario is based off of Anubis, and, like, I'm sure that Anubis took inspiration off of Lucario, but, like, how much can you really change Panky's what Anubis looks like? Panky's old YouTube account got banned for uploading gooning videos. Close, actually. You're not that far off. There's probably R34 for Egyptian gods. Oh, no, there absolutely is. But, like, I'm just saying it's, like, there's not much you can do to change what Anubis looks like, right? I'm just... Pokemon, and every human character looks like Same. they crawled out one of those weird mobile game ads. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what if there's a... Cursed... Uh, cursed... <laughs> Power World characters. I want to see cursed Power World characters. I want to see like the I want to see like the big fat fucking barrel chest looking ones that look fucking awful. They look fucking just absolutely fucking disgusting. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys played Power World, you know how intense the fucking sliders get. It's bad. But folks, I got it, and I just can't stop playing it. You guys want to see something funny? Hold on. Let me let me go to my Steam right now. Where where's my Steam? Look at this. Fucking 61 and a half hours played in the game already. 61 and a half hours already. In Power World. <laughs> this game is so fucking good. I keep playing it and I can't stop playing it. See, I feel like most parts of Pal World are comically uninspired and often just plain terrible. But somehow, when you put it all together, you kind of get a masterpiece in what I can only describe as a brand new way to make a game not suck. So you stop playing after the egg incident? What's the egg incident? I played for zero hours and zero minutes. This game is literally on Game Pass. I'm just saying it's good. You should get it. But 
this game, it's obviously like inspired by like a lot of different things. Ark and Pokemon are its two probably biggest inspirations, with Zelda Breath of the Wild falling very close behind among a handful of other games. But it's mainly Ark, Pokemon, and Zelda Breath of the Wild that this game takes from, right? And they do it in a really good way. It's it, it's engaging. It's uh it's actually like like the gameplay loop of going around uh taming new pokemon, capturing like 10 pokemon of each type and being able to get the EXP and it's like all of the pokemon that you capture have some use to you in some way like whether you're able to sell them whether you're able to condense them into a thing, whether you're able to br like use them to breed new Pokemon because like they might have good stats, all of the Pokemon that you get have like a use to you at some point in the game. So it feels good capturing Pokemon no matter what. All the pals except for my human pals. That's yikes. As I break down Pal World and what makes it work, there are going to be some people in the comments telling me why it's awful and. It's arc, but good. Okay. I've talked about this before, right? But I have like 30 days in arc survival evolved. I have like 30. I will be heading out. I hope you have a good rest of your stream, Plunky, or so you'll never be able to live down the Sea of Thieves incident. <sighs> I hate you. I hate you. Anyway, anyway, I, I really like Power World. I think it's a good game. And, uh, yeah, I have, like, 30 days in Ark Survival Evolved. Ark Survival is a fucking horrible, awful, janky-ass game. But, man, I fucking love that game, and it feels good to play basically Ark, but good. Creatively bankrupt, and for the record, you're all literally right. Every point you make, I will probably agree with. But, and Absolutely. I am so confused as I say this, 8 out of 10. Let's talk about why. Oh my If I had to give if I had to give this game a rating, it's probably like a nine out of ten, like for real. What like genuinely, off, I think it's obvious. a nine out of ten. Pal World is a creature collection game where the, you can collect The only issue that I have with the game, actually, like, is the bugs. That is the only issue that I have with the game personally, is just how buggy it is. But the game itself is just so solid. The gameplay loop is really good. It's so good! It's a nice various ten. monsters and put them in your pocket. Hold on, wait a <laughs> second. Yes, of course, these second. are all Pokemon, which have been moderately screwed up, Mr. Potato. <laughs> oh, head style oh, to no. avoid Nintendo's unspeakable wrath. Pokemon oh, no. in the Pokemon world? Never heard of them. These are pals. Welcome to Pal World. Approach a wild pal and a battle will commence. Wait, what? World. Approach a wild pal and a battle will commence. Oh. Oh, he edited that in. Oh, I see. I was like, wait, is that what the early gameplay looked like for this game? I will say, though, much like how great... That moment when the Pokemon game looks like it, it was the early gameplay tech demo of Pal World. Art forgers must learn to paint like the masters before scamming rich people. Pal World really has captured the visual language of Pokemon here, especially with the faces. Gotta say, they do have good taste. Like, <laughs> they recognize that Quagsire's face is peak design. <laughs> so That's they so slapped real. it on this guy, and it just works. But yeah, look around and you'll see some very familiar faces among all the pals. To be mm. fair, they do have some fun ideas. And there's actually one thing I seriously do love here. If it wasn't for the bugs, it'd be an 8.5. Right now, it's a 6.5 for me. I think... I can't stop playing the game. I don't know. Like, I'm like level 40 in the game. And I'm level 30 in a single player save. I'm level 40 in a multiplayer save. I genuinely have no issues with the game. Other than the bugs. Which is Good that day to you, bottom shells have been animated with a disturbing level of care and personality. Like, this is Pangolin, the penguin pal. Uh -huh. Let's take a look at how it right. moves. Very First, original. it has a slow walk, then it The guy who spammed building ramps is still higher level than you. I don't want to fucking hear it. Has this bouncy run, and when it's holding something, it puts it on its head and walks like this. <laughs> and sorry, you can say what you want, but I am now a Pangolin fan. <laughs> 
Well, as we get into the more questionable side Penguin, of this game, my beloved. I really want to show you that it's the animation of the pals themselves that carries Pal World more than anything else. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, the pals look like knockoff Pokemon, and everything besides the pals has no personality, but check out this King Penguin, who mines with one hand in a dignified, kingly fashion. <laughs> oh, and once I overworked my penguin by cranking up the forced labor intensity at my wait, monitor hold stand. On. You guys know Bushi? This, uh, wait, hold on, let me show you guys. Uh, fuck it. Let me show you guys Bushi real quick. Bushi. So, this, so this is like a samurai swordsman fucking weeby piece of shit Pokemon, right? He's really good at mining trees. Like, his, like, like his, like, tree level, like, mining is, like, level three or some bullshit, right? Whenever he cuts down trees, he, it's like, he's like a samurai. He puts his, he puts his hand on his sword and he pulls his his katana out of out of the sheath and swipes the tree and then he puts it back in his sheath and he does that over and over and over and over and over for <laughs> like it's so funny and i thought that was such a funny little animation to do for the tree cutting yeah the animations like like the dumb little stupid quirky animations they do are so cute and and because of it, that penguin got depressed, but anti- Chillette? Dude, Chillette is so cute. I want to smooch Chillette. Depressants were too expensive, so it would just roam around my base with this dejected expression. <laughs> Depressants Wait, were too on. expensive, so- <laughs> That's so fucking real. <laughs> the depressants are too expensive, so like, hey, I'm sorry. Hey. Pangola, I'm sorry, we can't really afford antidepressants right now, so, like, hey, buddy, I'm sorry. Usually, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat, unless a pal has really good stats that are really good for, really good for, like, working on my base, I just replace them. If they get depressed, I just replace them and say, like, hey, you're fucking useless to me now, you're fired. I feel like a corporate fucking piece of shit. When saying, ah, oh, fuck, our, our indentured servant, he's fucking, uh, <laughs> our indentured servant is, uh, is depressed. Ah, oh, let's just fire him and get a new one. Roam around my base with this dejected expression. Without a single word, the pals communicate five times. Power is a social experiment and you fucking failed. <laughs> times more character than anything else in this game. But luckily, they are the most important part. <laughs> So, the game opens by plopping you on a beach in the mysterious Palpagos Islands. How fun. It's like the Galapagos Islands. Literally 1820s. No. Well, I hope you love that pun because it's more or less the most interesting. You've literally become the very thing you swore to destroy. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just trying to make profits and ends meet piece of text in this entire game well maybe aside from the pokedex that's pretty fun but clearly <laughs> pal world is more in the gameplay camp of games and the plot is more of an excuse now of course that's there isn't a plot yeah you had the fucking lore journals ever there isn't a plot i don't want to fucking hear from anybody that this game has a plot it does not have a plot not necessarily a bad thing right when i play mario i'm not exactly looking for deep commentary on the jeff human bezos condition, are here with palazon an world game if you don't care about plot, you better have some insane game. Panky is the coal miner owner sending children to die in the coal mines. I don't send them to die in the coal mines. I send them to die in the fucking iron mines and sulfur mines because I need iron and sulfur to make bullets. Play, or it's going to get real boring real fast. Well, Pal World seems to be trying to take the Elden Ring route here, where there's an open-ended story that frames your loosely goal-oriented exploration. But I mean, the children wow. geared you for the be mines. so incredibly Real. bored by every human character in Pal World. It is like they are actively trying. At one point, you descend deep into a hidden cave to discover <laughs> a mysterious black market merchant surrounded by guillotines and torture devices. And oh, that's so cute. And the most boring, wet cardboard, soggy cereal, copy-paste, non-character of all time. And like, <laughs> how do you do that? How do you make this boring after all that work? And for however fr Man. <laughs> frustrated I might be with the Pokemon franchise nowadays, I gotta say, at least they can make fun human characters with actual ca Dude, okay, the one thing that Pokemon has over Power World is how fucking hot some of the Pokemon trainers are. Hold on, wait. Uh, gym 
trainers Pokemon sword. Dude, okay. I'm just saying this girl right here is hot as shit. She is hot as shit. I don't fucking care what anyone says. These bitches are such a fucking smash! Okay, I'm just saying Nintendo does know how to make some sexy ass fucking people. I'm just saying, okay? They know they know what they're doing. These guys know what's up. They know what's up. I'm just hey, 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 I'm just hey, just saying they know what's up. They know what's up. Character traits. And Pal World kind of doesn't even compare here. Knock off all the Pokemon you want, Pal The World. only reason Pokemon's going strong. Larry. I mean, at one point, I found a human settlement, and I celebrated when Not a guard the there music. told me he'd do anything for money. Because I was like, whoa. This what are the chances of catching you with a hypersphere? I'm literally a demigod. That you would, you would need, like, is there a ball better than a hypersphere? Character has a trait. Nintendo is built off the backs of their R34 artists. That's so real. One character trait. That's crazy. Almost nobody else in this game has a trait or a theme or like anything. They're just sort of there, like the rocks or the trees. This person is like, there's a boss you should beat. So I beat the boss and came <laughs> back and they were like, there's a boss you should beat. In fact, I think chess has deeper human characters than Pal World. Because at least in chess, I'm kind of interested why the queen can run so fast. Now, at this point, you might be like, damn, it like sounds that? like this game is terrible and you hate it. And no, I know it's it good. does, right? It's so good. I should hate it. It's so but good. I can't. And that's because of the gameplay. For this, I went in thinking, oh, they just ripped off Pokemon. But I was simply failing to see the vision. See, no. they didn't just rip off Pokemon. They ripped off Breath of the Wild. They <laughs> ripped off Ark Survival Evolved. They ripped off <laughs> Fortnite. And now I'm... <laughs> Was he fucking cranking 90s in that? Wait, the what? They ripped off Ark Survival Evolved. They no ripped way. off Fortnite. He's cranking and now, 90s! I'm gonna say something crazy. I'm gonna make some wild accusations. But I think these developers might have played Elden Ring. I'm <laughs> not joking when I say developers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe they did. Might have played Elden Ring. I'm maybe. not joking when I say Pell World has possibly stolen more from these games than Pokemon. Which <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, okay. Is he wrong? Kinda? I don't know. The whole point of the, the whole selling point of the game is Pokemon. So like I I, I don't know. I'm just saying it's like I think like they I think they knew like what they were doing. Dude, the swing mansion is literally from Fortnite. I don't want to talk <gasps> Oh no, I actually did. How far was I into the video? <laughs> I'm just like, you know, like hey, I mean hey, it is what it is. Hey, it is what it is. How do you do this every single time? World has That's possibly fine. stolen more from these games than Pokemon. Frame by frame, it's the Fortnite swing. Shh, shh, which I recognize is a wild thing for me to say, considering this is literally a Pokemon knockoff. But I mean, Pal World really is an iceberg, where the tip is we're copying Pokemon, <laughs> and from there, all the way down, is we're copying every popular open world game that has ever existed. Personally, I found the Elden Ring stuff especially funny just because of how baked into the world it is. Like, mm -hmm. at the start of the game... There's literally a giant tree in the game. Leave that one crumbling structure with that one NPC on the... Wait, wait, no, 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 like, no, 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> they're so done! Oh, they're so fucking cooked! That's so. B that looks so bad when you compare it side by side like this. I didn't realize how bad it was when you compared it side by side like this. Off wish and down the hill. That's a big enemy you can't. 
can't fight yet. <laughs> oh, no. oh, fuck. Uh, this game is, uh, this game is gonna get, oh, no. In combat, of course, you react and spam rolls, and you even got the FromSoft stamina bar. That's oh, my bar! Shit. Now, of course, Elden Ring oh, didn't no. invent any of this stuff, but it is very funny to see them all together again in a yeah. completely different game. I walked into a church, and I got deja vu, because it was just that one church from Elden Ring, right? <laughs> that is exact. Okay, I thought the exact same fucking thing when I walked into this desolate like church. Like, there's multiple of these desolate churches like scattered around um, fucking uh, like the the open world. The f when I found my first one, I was like, oh, this is literally Elden Ring. Like, there was literally a statue. Okay, so you know at the churches um in Elden Ring, do you, do you know do you know the do you know the churches in Elden Ring um where How do I say this? Do you know the churches in Elden Ring where when you go to them, like there's there's like that like that like power up for your flask or whatever, like at, at the front of the church? Um <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks. Um it's literally the same thing in out in, in, in Pow World, where when you go to the church, at the front of the church, there is a lift monk effigy that powers up not your flask, but your Pokeballs. Just saying. Right down to the crumbling bricks and the flowers on the ground and that glowing upgrade item in front of the statue. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. Yeah. Just some truly baffling stuff going on in Pal World. Uh huh. God damn it. <laughs> Want to upgrade and build with a clear UI? We got bootleg arc here. Hell Wanna yeah! Want to climb and glide anywhere you can see? We got bootleg- You're the one favorite server I'll actually enjoy watching, thanks. Zelda here. And listen, I'm sure I'm not even mentioning so many games they ripped off. Like, I heard this was inspired by RimWorld a lot. That game is still on my list right now, but I can't wait to play it and find out how much of its homework Pal World blatantly copied. So I'm actually <laughs> curious, if you play Pal World, tell me which games you know they stole from, because they did so much stealing. I've never played Rim World, but I've heard very good things about it. It becomes a strength of the game. Pal World is like a combination of every single popular thing, which means it will feel fresh to you mm -hmm. unless you've played every single popular thing. Folks, this is no mere level one. Why the fuck were you using a club to mine that? What the hell? One, plagiarism. This is a carefully constructed kaleidoscope of almost plagiarism that the developers are transparent about in the funniest way possible. See, Pal World's developer, Pocket Pair, was uh -huh. founded by Takaro Mizobe, who is quite the personality. He gave an interview with Wired Japan mm -hmm. that I am Google Translating here, but to quote that Google, Google Translate awesome. interview, I have a deep-rooted desire for my work to be enjoyed by as many people as possible. And to that end, if there are good ideas in the world, I pick them up. I don't necessarily have to be particular about originality. Damn, I'm glad he cleared that up, because I sure couldn't tell. But, you know, he's not <laughs> lying about it. And I mean, I mean, hey, he's being honest. He says, hey, if this game has a good thing, I'm just going to steal it and take it for myself in my own game. I mean, like, hey, I appreciate the honesty this dude has. I'm glad he isn't like, we carefully craft our games and like we come up with these systems for It's like, no, if this game has a good thing going, we take it for ourselves. And honestly, there's a lot of nuance here that I don't honestly, think we should miss. Honestly, the, the only reason I enjoy watching is because you don't act like other femboys. Well, thank you. In that interview, he mentions that he's always loved- But that's good? What do you mean? What you mean? What how they how they how they take stuff and put it in their own game? No, no, no. I never said that's a bad thing. Let me let me be clear. That's not a bad game. If a game has a good system, if a game has a good system, then take it for yourself. Like, like Asmund Gold was talking about this, but like there are so many games that like had really good things that they developed in their game first and everyone just fucking stole from it because it was so it was a it was a good fucking idea like what what things what what things can i think of that were like a game had that like probably had that like every other game just kind of like stole for itself um what do you think here uh like dot like dodge rolling like 
like dodge rolling like in like in uh like in like in dark souls where it's like when you when you roll like you get your iframes like dark i'm pretty sure that dark souls or like whatever started that kind of like dodge roll with iframes thing but so many other games have taken that idea of dodge rolling with iframes and put it into their game because it's a good idea it feels good so like why not take it for yourself I mean, I I take RPG horror games like Mad Father. They pave the way for niche horror genres to focus on puzzles and story. Exactly. It's like if a game has a good thing and it feels good, take it for yourself. Because I don't want my game. I don't want you to. I I I'd rather a game just take a good idea rather than make their own new fresh idea if it's bad. I'm just saying. No, no, iFrames thing was in Smash. It was a Ninja guy that's not new. Well, no, I'm just saying it's like some games started that trend where it's like I'm saying specifically like the way that Dark Souls does it. No, no, no. I'm saying the 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 the, the way that Dark Souls does it specifically where it's like when you roll, you get iFrames. That's what I'm saying right now. Like like that specific idea has been taken from Dark Souls and put into other games. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they invented it. I'm saying, like, that's that kind of thing that they did originally in Dark Souls, other people have taken it. Stealing a good idea is better than making your own shitty idea. True. It's embarrassing to AAA Studios, but this game did the mix that everyone has been asking for, but AAA Studios can't do to the plagiarism accusations from their fans. Real. <gasps> Nintendo games and deeply respects them. And call me crazy, but I do feel like genuine passion was the spoon that stirred this plagiarism stew. Now, for the record, the flame that was cooking that stew was definitely a massive desire for money. But <laughs> I, I mean, hey, I, I, hey, I, you can't. Don't disrespect the fucking hustle, dude. Okay. But I mean, who doesn't like money, right? Speaking of which, today's video is sponsored by the fraction of a cent of ad revenue that I get if you watch my stuff. I like money, so please subscribe. But Real. actually, I think it's a very toxic idea that doing something for money means you don't really care about it. We see people say this all the time to artists, to developers, and it just never goes away. And oh man, we are seeing this everywhere with Pal World. Eurogamer, playing Pal World I mean, gives off the impression. I mean... Like, he isn't wrong. I mean, like, you can do stuff you like and want to get money out of it. I mean, like, the two aren't, like, complete opposite things that just, like, contradict each other. You can enjoy doing something and make it and, and, and want to make money off of it. Isn't making money the biggest part of making a game? It is. It, it is one of the biggest parts. Dude, wait until Power World reveals their good pal and they have a giant hula hoop around them. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like hey guys I like like I'll be honest with you guys part of the reason that I got into content creation just period was because when I was in middle school I couldn't get a job right because I was too young to get a job so I started doing content creation so that I could get money but I enjoy content creation and I like doing it but I also needed money so impression of playing a product designed to be sold like, it is. That's what games are. But listen, mm -hmm. when I play this game and I see the stupid little walk cycles <laughs> or the sheer range of mechanics and ridiculous things that happen at camp, it's clear to me that this isn't just some low effort mm -hmm. cash grab. You see, Pal... Yeah, that's the thing, okay? That's the big thing that separates Pal World from, like, any other, like, like of games that are, like, like Pal World. This, this game isn't just trying to do be a cash grab that is trying to get money from people like and just use popular ips and similar ideas to get money like it's clear that they do actually care about the game and what they're doing in it like they do actually have a passion for the game and wanting to make a good game it just they're it, it's kind of like they had to in order to get their game like to a mass audience they kind of had to take the game and use it and kind of use the idea of Pokemon with guns as just the elevator pitch to get people to play their game. I guarantee you, if Power World didn't have Pokemon with guns, nobody would play it. But because everyone is like, everyone says Pokemon with guns, those three words, that's the elevator pitch for the game. This game has gotten so many people to try it based off of that. And then people realize, oh, this is a good game, <laughs> you know? 
what do you mean people uh can want to make money off something and also love it? That's ridiculous. If you love something, you should be completely broke and never make a dime off of it. So true. So true. Artists on Twitter, take notes. Give me commissions for free. I don't want to pay you. World is a high effort cash grab, a master of chasing trends, and I gotta respect it. Plus, I can't stress enough how easy it is to combine popular things, but end up with absolute garbage. Real. I tried bacon flavored ice cream once. I love bacon and I love ice cream, but it turns out bacon ice cream is a horrible crime against both. So, you know, combining <laughs> all these already successful ideas to make your own successful game, well, I can't help but think that's a process that's easy to make fun of, but maybe not so easy to actually pull off. Igor Stravinsky famously said, a good composer does not imitate he steals. Clearly, Igor Stravinsky had just played Pal World. So, you know, Pal World kind of both imitates and steals. So the jury's still out on that one. But let's take a closer look. How does all this stealing make for a compelling gameplay? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's because as you progress, the mm -hmm. tools and not Pokemon you use are constantly changing, and the core combat mechanics sort of speed run through every mm -hmm. possible way to fight in a third-person game. Yeah, because like in the game, you start off with like a bow and arrow and uh and like a club right and then you eventually you get the triple shot arrow and then eventually you get the crossbow and then you get the uh the shitty fucking pistol and then you get the good uh, or no you get the musket and then you get the shitty pistol and then you get the good pistol and then you're slowly like working your way up to make the combat system better feeling for yourself and it kind of feels good like you know just making the make making the combat system better it's like Ark, okay, but Ark is bad. Hey, just saying. As a guy who has 30 days in the game, hey, it's bad. Early on, you're just doing melee stuff. Then you get bows and crossbows, a grappling hook. You catch a dollar store Vulpix and you can <laughs> pick it up and use it like a flamethrower. Then you're flying on a bird that shoots tornadoes. And then you find sulfur and learn to make- Ark is bad as someone who has 30 days in the game and played that for fucking five or six years straight. I'm saying that as a person who is addicted to the game. It's bad. Basic firearms, and before you know it, you're riding on a giant alpaca that pukes out spirit bombs because you need <laughs> it as a meat shield while you periodically spend 10 seconds reloading an old fashioned musket. What the fuck? Skip. Pal World is you gonna at ride its best that thing? You are constantly finding new strategies and fun ways to combine its many very silly tools. And the pals themselves are designed to make this possible. If it looks like you can ride it, you. Okay, doctor, okay, I'm gonna say this right now. There's a certain point where if you have over a, over a thousand hours in a game, your opinion isn't valid. Clearly, you are too far gone in the game to have an objective opinion on it. Probably can. If it looks like you can throw it as a grenade, you probably can. And if <laughs> it looks like you can harvest its organs and use them to make flaming Sweats arrows, you shed. probably can. But I mean, you wouldn't, right? It really feels like you're- Wait, what? No! You probably can, but I mean, you wouldn't, no! right? It really feels like your character is coming up with ridiculous ideas to make the most of every- If it looks like you can ride it, you can. This is a hor- this is a horde with no context. Like, I'm just saying, you can ride any Pokemon- uh, Not Pokemon. You can ride any pal you see if you're brave enough. Saddle or no saddle every single pal in a way that I personally loved. Sadly though, this feature was actually plagiarized from real life. You see, <laughs> once upon a time, someone saw a horse and oh, was no. like, I bet we could grind up its bones and skin to make jello. And it just sort of worked. Wait, also what? Wait, wait, is that, wait, what? Is that real? Wait, is that real? So that red food dye we make from bugs. I mean, making weird shit from other animals. What? Yeah, I don't know how to type. Oh, no! Panky Ark is good. You just have to play with PC mods that add magic and drugs that, sell you, that you sell to NPCs. That's like saying... That's like, that's like saying Starfield is good as long as you modify it to make it not Starfield anymore. Animals is sort of a human tradition, so I'm glad Pal World has finally brought this fact. Oh, they also plagiarized from real life by by taking by taking away by by they.
<laughs> Power World also plagiarized from real life by taking away the whole slavery thing in like the 1700s. Power World plagiarized slavery, guys. I'm just saying. They looked at the 17 and 1800s and they said, hey, we like that. Let's put it in our game into the Pokemon space. By the way, on the topic of making stuff, the base management part of PAL World is surprisingly <laughs> enjoyable too. You quickly learn how effective PALs can be at manual labor, and before you know it, you have a sprawling, let's call it a production network, backing up the rest of your morally reprehensible adventures. And slavery, just lie, say slavery. It feels kind of great to take a- That's why Minecraft is boring as fuck. Base Minecraft is a pretty shit game. Okay, you're wrong there, but okay. Break from all the management, Get up on a cliff for a bird's eye view and just watch all your little guys going about their day. But of course, even this Look at is plagiarized working so hard. from Temple OS. You just can't win, folks. <laughs> but touching on those morally reprehensible adventures I mentioned, as you might know, this is a very cynical and brutal take on the creature collecting genre. In fact, I went into it expecting to massively cringe at the whole theme of what if Pokemon <laughs> was brutal? Cause it just seems like a very obvious low-hanging fruit right but it's presented here with such a weird sincerity that it kind of won me over there isn't any blood all the gory stuff is comically censored and it never feels like the game is trying too hard to be dark and depressing it just happens to be a brutal life here on the palpago island. to be fair pals quite literally get depressed so pals are friends and pals are food and often they want you to be food and no! that's just how things are Holy oh fuck! God. You want leather? You go outside and you take your musket and your giant alpaca. This is reinforced oh, no. by the Paldex entries that describe each pal, which actually do a pretty good job capturing that unhinged energy that the weirdest Pokedex entries have. If it's a cute pal, it'll probably have an entry about how they love murder or start forest fires or power <laughs> the drug trade. So wait, sniffing at scales produces a feeling of unparalleled euphoria. There was some effort to further regulate this byproduct, but the Free Pal Alliance have vehemently opposed these measures, putting a stop to them. What? But rather than feeling edgy, there's this nature documentary style detachment to everything that makes it kind of endearing. And <laughs> for all that craziness, the fact that, that the pals themselves are designed to be so genuinely- Power is so American, it's stealing everything. Nah, that's European. Adorable and expressive means that I actually did feel kind of bad that one time I gave my penguin depression from overwork. In Aww. fact, I was so horrified that I quickly eased up you. the hard labor, built a hot tub for my pals, and put more thought into the quality of their food. Not only that, but when the game incentivized me to turn my weak pals into resources by butchering them, or to melt my pals in a vat to empower the strongest ones. We can also harvest the souls of pals to then enhance certain stats. Most of the time, I actually no. couldn't bring myself to, because they just sort of seem like mean things to do to your friends. Weirdly, this makes for funny. some actual fun moral choice. $20? Yeah, $20. What about it? This is when it comes to your pack. Give me $20, see what happens. Else. A lot of games make it too rewarding to be good, which makes their moral choices very obvious and boring. No, this game rewards you for being the worst, most sweatshop labor person ever. He, this game will reward you for being an awful fucking person, and I love it. This game rewards, sl rewards slavery capitalist society, and I love it. But in Pal World, doing the wrong thing is extremely rewarding, and it's mm. up to you to decide how far is too far. Now, I will say, playing this game without major animal cruelty is the equivalent of a no-hit run in Dark Souls. But the least you can <laughs> do is to give your pals a reasonably comfortable life, even if you do have three penguins working at an assembly line making mountains of 9mm handgun oh, ammo. No. What I'm trying to say is, I better not see you hit that super hard labor option. You wouldn't do that to legally distinct Gumi, would you? I mean, just look at him. Look at him go. Wait, no, stop. What are you doing? Creating a productive base like this is a secret to living a comfortable life in the world. No! Oh my god! To overwork your no! Now, where this does sort of break down. <laughs> I must have it if I could say a costume. Is all the horrible oh things god. you can do to people. Because as I said before, Humans in this game are just wet cardboard. 
The literal mountain of corpses. And their AI is some of the worst I have ever seen. And it's not even funny bad, like in Oblivion or something, it's just bad. <laughs> and because of that, I simply could not care less about any character in Pal World that isn't a pal. So yeah, I might occasionally, you know, capture oh soldiers in Pokeballs and sell them for gold on the black market, uh -huh. but I don't feel bad for them for the same reason I don't feel bad for Tetris blocks when I clear a line. Now, of course, I'm Real. not asking for Shakespeare here with these NPCs, but I really do wish a single person. I wish to enslave my loved ones for my own entertainment. That's insane. Person in this game would have even a crumb of character, so it would feel like your interactions have actual purpose. One thing that does have a bit of actual personality, though, is the soundtrack. It's pretty okay. They got that epic orchestra going on, and then they threw like FL Studio drum samples over it. It has its yeah <laughs> moments i'm not a hater this is how it some be things sometimes. do sound kind of familiar but that's just how music works i think i might just be stuck in that plagiarism i wish to enslave you for my what go away action state of mind anyway now that we've talked about this stuff in the game we got to talk about how often it breaks that's right it's time for the, the bugs. bugs which as with any open world yeah. or early access game there are a whole lot of some Too were pretty many. annoying, but miraculously, none of them were quite game ruining for me. I think the worst bug that I've encountered so far is that when you're playing on a multiplayer server and you're climbing walls, you can't jump along the walls and like climb up them by jumping on it. Like the game just doesn't let you do that. <laughs> it doesn't. You do learn the workarounds. Pals refusing to do anything, simply reload the game. Grappling hook got you stuck flying in midair like Superman? Again? For the third time in one hour? Just switch weapons. It's not too terrible for early access. Though fair warning, my perception is a bit skewed here since I've been playing some really I've foggy into games the world lately. So many I mean, times. as far as I'm concerned, if I'm not falling through the floor, I'm having a good time. Alright, I think I cracked the code. Here we go. <laughs> so, to this game's credit, most things seem to function. No crashes, and I have not fallen through the floor in Pal World. I don't yet. believe it. I did get stuck inside of a rock once, but technically, I fell through the ceiling, not the floor. Oh, and there was also no. that one time I got stuck inside of a different rock, but I think that was the wall that I fell through. The Still fuck? not the floor. Okay, yeah. If you really hate bugs, maybe wait a few months before picking up Pal World. Go check out my Pal World movement. It's kind of funny. All right, and now I just gotta. Tifo's gliding is a feature, not a bug. You can change my mind. <laughs> the broken part of that video title is very much not for show, even if I do think the gameplay itself Man. is very fun. In fact, I could talk about that gameplay all day, but I feel like it would the simply be a waste so of hard. your time, because I could just say Ark, Elden Ring, Pokemon, Fortnite, Breath of the Wild, RimWorld, and it more or True. less covers everything I could talk about. So instead, I want to finish by pointing out how weirdly accessible this game's difficulty Peggy, how much do I need to pay you for be a housemate? The options are, uh, to the extent that they're actually some of the best I've seen dollars. ever. Like, you have your casual, normal, and hard difficulties, but you can also set it to custom to specifically tweak every single part of your gameplay experience. You know, guys, I'm just saying, the first thing I did when I when I found out about how horrendously long the, the, the hatch times were, I put the hatch times all the way down to one. Fuck that. From removing hunger and raids to adjusting the day-night cycle and even changing the EXP and item rates, Pal World can get pretty grindy as it goes on. But guess what? They literally let you change that if you feel like it's too much. Just pop into the world screen, click change difficulty, and raise the experience modifier. At Thank one point, you. I found the solo gathering grind was starting to get annoying. What did I do? I just cranked up gatherable drops so I could <laughs> spend less time staring at rocks and more time riding on that cool alpaca. True. Oh, terrible attention span satisfied. Problem solved. I do like that. I do really like how it lets you have a custom difficulty so that you can modify stuff to make to like play the game that you want to do it. But wait, while this is an amazing feature, unfortunately, it was plagiarized from the original System Shock in 1994. God which damn it, world, are you doing it again? Where are the System Shock lawyers? Seriously though, to me, these options are usually a sign of a game that went the extra mile. Sometimes it's called assist mode, like in Celeste or Control, mm -hmm. but whatever it's called, I'm a big fan of giving each player the option to customize their experience to whatever's the most fun for them. It is an act of- 
being a Twitch streamer must be like a stripper with everyone throwing money at you constantly. It's like a stripper, except everyone's getting cucked because they're not actually getting anything out of it. Of incredible respect for the they players can't keep and their time, away and with I that. cannot believe we are seeing it in the bootleg Pokemon game because, and please don't kill me for saying this, but most of the games it is stealing from kind of just don't care about this. Ark is one of the most infamously time-consuming games out there. Elden Ring, well, that might be one of my favorite games, but it's not exactly known for its accessibility. And Pokemon, yeah. well, Pokemon had an easy mode once, and it was something you unlocked after you beat the game on normal mode, which is a game design decision that still haunts me to this very day. Wait, what? You unlock easy mode? Wait, what? Now I Wait, hold on. And it was something no. you unlocked no. with Pokemon. Well, Pokemon had an easy mode once, and it was something you unlocked after you beat the game on normal mode. There's no fucking way. Are you... Uh... Which is a game design decision that still haunts me to this very day. Now, I do get that those games have There's competitive no sides and this stuff is hard to balance, but I mean, come on, at least let me mess with the rules in single player. It's not hurting anyone. So, as a gaming enjoyer who Me. enjoys games from a lot of different genres, I can't help but feel like some- The easy mode exists for no reason. I wonder if anybody actually played Pokemon in easy mode after they beat the game. Times, there are things more games need to steal. Established franchises can get so cozy when they know they have a loyal audience, and sometimes mm -hmm. this makes them ignore innovations that could make these games better for everyone. Well, as we've established, Pal World is just a whirlwind of shameless theft. And also, I gotta say, that CEO guy has quite a few hot takes about crypto and AI that do- He founded a crypto company? Oh no. Oh, oh no, oh no, that- oh no! put his company on the precipice of like five separate PR disasters. But when oh, he says he wants no. his work to be enjoyed by as many people as possible, seeing the way Pal World somehow Man. manages to carefully combine so many genres and then puts in the extra effort to let us tweak every part of it, I can't lie, it kind of makes me want to Dude, he's him. cranking Especially 90s when this like is a like gamer. A game that you pay Holy for once shit. and there's no premium battle pass or awful money stuff, which shouldn't be something I have to praise in a game, but you know how things are now. And listen, He's if we step crypto, back for bro. a bit, I Man, gotta ask, sucks. should Pal World really be an illegal level of plagiarism? Well, it's definitely at least close, but I do like it when <laughs> art styles and mechanics are copied and experimented with, because that is how art has always worked, right? Tell and me this guy plays Fortnite without telling me. <laughs> clearly derivative. I'm not sure I would love the precedent of it's illegal to draw this funny face or <laughs> design an electric zebra or make a shitty Walmart Lucario, or even have knockoff Pokeballs. I think that could seriously backfire, both legally- Wait, where do you get those stickers from? They're so cute. Wait, what? Those stickers are so cute. No, I want them. And in terms of allowing creativity, it's just like that one quote earlier. The fact a crypto bro made a better game than AAA company. <laughs> this is crazy. That is crazy. From Igor Stravinsky. Something, something, steal shit. I forgot the quote. But yeah, I personally do think you should just barely be allowed to go this far. As mm -hmm. for whether Nintendo and the Pokemon Company think the same way, well, on January 25th, Pokemon released an official statement called Regarding Other Companies' Games. It does have some very sanitized corporate speak, so to be clear, mm -hmm. I'm not a lawyer, but let me try and interpret this legal okay. language for you. It's basically saying, uh, fear us, for we bear the wrath of an angry god, your <laughs> sins have earned our fury, the seas will <laughs> run red with pal blood. So yeah, a bit of a strong stance. Now I will say, there's a lot of different accusations going around. Some people are convinced the pals are AI generated from Pokemon, they are. or the models are literally ripped from the Pokemon game. They aren't. Uh, that would suck, but I tried to find a source for those claims, and for now, they're sort of just made up. But, even though mm -hmm. the actual characters were made at Pocket Pair by humans, I did see some more convincing comparisons that show how that person lied. Let's say deeply inspired by Pokemon, a couple of these models are. This person lied! In terms of proportions, basically implying they could be the 3D equivalent of tracing, which is not good. Personally, I'm still not super convinced, because, you know, Cranking Pokemon 90s. itself did steal oh my a lot of God. designs from, Holy like, shit! animals. 
but of course, not an expert. So I suspect Pocket Pair might want to use all that money they made to hire some good-ass lawyers. Dude, they better get Saul Goodman on their ass, bro, or else they're fucked. Also, for the record, I'm recording this in January 2024. So if you're here a few months from now, after some horrifying truth was revealed about Pal World and the Court of Law, welcome! This was always a possibility. But let me tell you, future viewer, before this game got delisted from Steam for plagiarism, it was pretty good. Maybe you could still find it somewhere. You know, somewhere. And of course, if you're here from the future where Pocket Pair survives getting sued to oblivion by the 500 trillion watt the orbital fuck? death laser that is the Pokemon legal team, uh, yeah, no, I had faith in them the entire time. Uh, complete faith. No plagiarism at all, probably. Long live Pocket Pair. At least until the Palworld 2 AI controversy in 2027, which will happen. Have that popcorn ready, Man. folks. In conclusion, great game, somehow, with a lot of moments that genuinely made me smile. Now, it might change one day. I don't day think the use of AI in, in games is bad. Like, as long as, like, you're training the AI off of your own stuff instead of other people, then, like, it's fine. Um, But the use of AI in games is, like, not... Like, Unreal Engine has AI tech built into it to, like, build landscapes and stuff like that. Like, people have been using AI in games for years. It's just, this is a different kind of use of AI. Because I do not think this company has a lot of respect for the law. But right now, Pal World has Absolutely no not. microtransactions, no day one DLC, and everything can be customized down to the EXP rate. It is a strangely pro-consumer experience. AI by itself is not bad. True. AAA games did once to stop using their assets. Maybe they should try making a game that isn't shit. No, I don't think that's a good argument. It's like, you shouldn't steal from companies just because like they, they make shit games, but... Experience that defied all my expectations, yeah. except for some of my expectations, which it didn't defy. But in my opinion, it's absolutely worth the 30 bucks. Not only that, but they released a very promising looking roadmap for early access. Wait, what is this? Addressing critical issues. Sometimes the world date may experience rollbacks. The running screens may persist when trying to load in worlds and so on. Key configuration improvements. Improvements to base pal AI and pathing. PvP. Raid bosses, Pal Arena, Steam Xbox Crossplay. Oh, yeah! Says, okay, I need I that. Sure do hope Dude, I hope they add that soon. Hope they can finish it. So again, if you're looking for a story, it that being will made to essentially shit talk Pokemon think, is cool. Maybe don't play Pal World. But if you hate what Game Freak has become and you want a passionately made Pokemon game by fans with real creative vision. Play Cassette Beasts, but if you're looking for a truly unhinged open-world sandbox that plays like an ADHD fever dream, Frankensteining five different genres together with not a single bit of care for intellectual property law, then Pal World just might be for you. I give Absolutely. this game an 8 out of 10, and a 9 out of 10 if it were sealed in a vault for 100 years and released after Pokemon became public domain. Hell yeah! Subscribe to help me achieve blah blah blah. Ah! This was a really fucking entertaining video. I really like this. Toby, you actually sent, sent some heat in here. Gamers, here is the link to the video right here. Right here. Please go check. Please go check out this video. It's a really good video. I like this guy. What, what other videos has he done? Hey, everyone. Some of you might be thinking that. Let me, let me, let me see. But yeah, I really like this thing. Good, good video.